Nice, a Hollywood good. actor. He's like, yeah, that's good. He's bringing that's comedy to transition. Houston <laughs> for a special weekend event. Joining me now, Brent Morin. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, well, you're a funny guy. Tell us about Undateable. How's it been going? I you know, you're a funny guy. Say something funny now. <laughs> no, ooh, that's oh. the worst. That is the worst. Oh, boy. I did uh, not do that to you. I know you didn't. You asked me a fair question. I kind of led it into a very awkward question. Um, <laughs> Undateable Live is a show on NBC. It's a sitcom about a group of friends that if they didn't have each other, they'd be very lonely. Uh, it's all live. What you see is what you get. You guys probably know a lot about that. We didn't, so we did a whole season like that. Made a lot of mistakes. Uh, almost swore multiple times. <laughs> that's, all, that's the fun. We were almost fine many times. <laughs> yep, there I am, trying. That's what I like to call it, trying. So tell me about the stand-up event. Oh, yes. I'm at the Houston Improv all weekend. Uh, Doing my new hour of material, I just did a special for Netflix called I'm Brent Morin, so not that hard to find me. Um, I, I look like such a frat boy there. <laughs> what is that image? Look at that. So Trying. you want to change it up? You want to oh, put like yeah. a pink wig or something on? Pink wig? <laughs> <laughs> well, I had just to say something. the silliest comic in the world. <laughs> uh, but I'm at the Houston Improv all weekend. Me and this guy, Jason Collings, is opening for me. He's one of my best friends. He's hilarious, too. And... Uh, like we did one show last night, it was amazing. And we got two more, two tonight, two tomorrow. And uh, if you don't come, you're stupid. Okay, truth be told, <laughs> is it more pressure doing stand up or the show, which ran live anyway? Um, I just live in a constant bubble of pressure. There's no happiness. Everything is like weighing down on me very hard. So just know that I'm always uncomfortable. I just want everybody to know that. I don't believe the hype. I uh -oh. wouldn't be if I looked like him. He's one of the ha most handsome black men I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I have to say that. All right, will you be back for season four? I'm sorry, I got lost in his eyes. Um, <laughs> Wait, season four. Is that a connection? No. Do we need Keith to come over here. I just want to hang out with you. You know, <laughs> just kind of get me into the clubs. And I like, have brown get me eyes good too, places. you know. I know, I'm looking at you too. You're beautiful. You know that, though. Sometimes oh. a guy needs to hear it too. Thank you. I'm just Thank letting you. you know. The fellas got to stick together. Yeah, we got to help each other everybody. out. You know? No worries. You All get right, complimented friend. every day, probably oh, every every what? half hour. Hey, it's okay. We'll spread the love to Keith. No sorry, I did get lost in your eyes now. See what happens. What is next for you? What is next for me? Oh, flirting. No. Um, that was here. That <laughs> yeah, it's, oh, it's right there. Okay. Wait a take. See, this is why we have to compliment each other. I like the I live. You I do. Me. You must be awesome. Oh, it's more like this. It's just mayhem <laughs> and a network with their hand over a button ready to cancel us at any minute. We'll see if we come back, though. <laughs> oh, goodness. So what is next? You got the next uh, week thing. Next week, I'm doing, I'm working on the new uh, special. So if you've seen my hour special, uh, just know that the show you're going to get at Houston Improv is different. So you'll get a completely different hour. I'm working hard. I'm curious. Yeah. What was the most shocking moment? What threw you off live? Live? Um, you know what threw me off is we make fun of each other without knowing it. Uh, like our boss would write little bits about our real lives into the show without telling us. So on a scene that we rehearse all week, at the last second, Chris D'Elia, co-star on the show, would change it to a... Uh, you know, well, you've gained weight since the beginning of the season. Ouch. And then I have to think, does everybody think I gained weight? And then you have to respond off that live without swearing or crying. So that's usually, <laughs> that's when they get us. Or they dump water on my head. Or there was one time I missed in a cue. That was the first episode of the season. I uh, just wasn't in the scene. And it threw everybody off, and it was a minute of dead air. So... It sounds like the beginning of the newscast when I had to <laughs> report on this breaking news in a fire. Had zero information. I uh, feel your pain. See, yeah, but you did a good job with it. You're very no. professional. I'm the opposite. <laughs> if you throw me off, I'll just run away. Truth be told, it was 30 seconds of mayhem. Uh, I don't have my IFB. What are we doing? Wet fire? What? Oh, yeah. And you did it, though. <laughs> oh, thanks. You did a great job. Very professional. Well, you can see Brent stand up tonight. This. You and can tomorrow. see Brent stand up Go! tonight and tomorrow at Houston Improv on. What is that? The Katy Freeway. T Katy Freeway? What does that mean? It's off the Katy Freeway. Oh, it's off the, on the Katy west side Freeway. Of town. There you go. Tickets start at just $20. Really? Thank you, Brent, for joining us. <laughs> I'm surprised Kate. you didn't say 40 bucks. And tips, they're appreciated. Yes. Throw them on the stage. I will have a bucket on stage. And I am very ambitious. That's why it's a bucket, not a tip jar. Is this really live? This was hilarious. This was the best so. interview by far. Thanks yes. a lot, Brent. I look ripped in this shirt, don't I, Keith? <laughs> you, you do, look like man. you gained a little weight. Oh, oh see? That's this is why men need to compliment each other. <laughs> Muscles everywhere. That's what I see. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Muscles Brent. Everywhere. Oh. First he's 49. He's trying to check my job by reading the prompter. All right. <laughs>